As an accountant, I love Excel and it's a vital part of my job. So I thought I would share with you my six favorite shortcuts. These are must know shortcuts that will save you time and impress others. Before we dive into that, a little nerd moment of mine. I never knew about the annual Microsoft Excel World Championship. Where have I been? How cool is this? The annual Microsoft Excel World Championship took place in Las Vegas, Nevada, which by the way, I own Vici, so a proud stock owner moment. So a guy by the name of Andrew the Annihilator won. He beat out 127 other competitors at using Excel spreadsheets. Now Microsoft Excel is officially an eSport and it involves participants using spreadsheets to solve complicated math problems and financial modeling situations quicker than others. One by one, the slowest people are eliminated. So in each round, eight players are given a big ream of data plus a set of instructions. Contestants need to create formulas and subsets to process the data, working against the clock to solve stages of the case and earn bonus points. Every seven and a half minutes, the lowest score is eliminated. So Andrew won for the third year in a row. He won $3,000, a trophy, and a belt. Andrew just didn't succeed, he excelled, ha ha. But congratulations, Andrew. Maybe I will be competing with you someday. You never know. Okay, now on to my six favorite Excel shortcuts. We're gonna dive right into these and we're gonna start with my number one Excel must know. It's a shortcut that will save you time. I've seen way too many people just delete blank rows one by one. Stop this, there is a better way. So what you wanna do is you wanna select all the data then you want to hit control G. You want to go to special and then you're going to choose blanks. Now from there, click OK. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit control minus and then you're going to select entire row. Hit OK and there you go. Boom. All the blanks are gone. This is such a massive time saver. I love this one and now we're going to move to my number two Excel must know is a shortcut that will also save you time in stretching and condensing those columns to nicely and snugly fit your various text and data in each cell. So first, right click on the tab you are using, go to view code and change general to worksheet and enter this code. Cells dot entire column dot auto fit. Now the auto fit option may just pop up for you to choose so you can do that as well. And there you have it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to exit out of this screen so there's no clicking OK or anything. And once you click out there's one more screen that you will click out of as well so there's there's no nothing that you need to do to verify this. You just type in that formula and then what you have like magic is you can start typing in different lengths of text and data and it just auto adjusts the column width for you. This is so awesome and you no, no longer have to manually change the column widths. What a cool way to save time. And you just keep going throughout this whole worksheet and I'm typing in here finance is the best because it really is and that's what we're all here for. So this is my number two Excel must know shortcut that will save you time especially in a worksheet where you just want the columns auto fitted for you. Now, my number three Excel must know is one of my favorites. It's a shortcut that will be sure to impress and that is adding a slicer to easily filter through data. Now what you'll do is you'll click within your data and you'll hit control T. What this does is it creates a table. Then you hit OK and then you go to the top and hit insert slicer. What you will do is you want to choose in this situation, we're going to choose department. So the one that you kind of want to filter by hit OK. And then in the very top right of the screen, there's a columns area. And what you want to do is you want to change this from one to four because we have four uh, data points in that department column. Then you want to resize your slicer box make sure it fits everything nice and neat to read all the te uh, text and data 
and you can move it above the chart. And now you can choose any department and start having fun sorting your data. A very easy and simple way to impress others. You can hit that X filter there to go back to having everything show or you can start clicking again to show just the departments you want with the data. This is, again, one of my favorites and it will impress. Now on to my number four Excel must know, and that's a shortcut to save you time and easily fill in blanks. I see worksheets set up like this a lot, so it should help many of you out there. Click within the data and hit Control A and then Control G. Go to Special, select Blanks, hit OK. Now you want to type in equals and then the up arrow and then hit control enter immediately after that and boom all your blanks are now filled and you no longer have to endlessly copy and paste. This one will definitely save you time. Now on to my number five Excel must know and that's a shortcut that I think is the easiest and coolest one on the list. Actually number six as well but you will see why. This is a shortcut to combine columns. Okay, so you need to combine the first and last name in column D and you're dreading typing each one out. So are you ready for this extremely easy magic I am going to show you? Simply type out the full name in column D. Then what you're gonna do is just hit Control E and boom. Wow, look at that, it's all done for you. This shortcut mimics what you did in the first cell and applies it to all the following cells. Pretty cool, right? So we're gonna in Excel number six, this is a shortcut that is basically the opposite of what I just showed in number five, but I love this one so much I wanted to show you two variations worth. So same premise, except we want to take the full name and separate it into the first name in column C and the last name in column D. So again, in the first cell you want to type in just the first name and then hit control E, boom, fills it all in for you. Same with the last name, type in the last name manually and then below control E, boom fills it in for you automatically. All the manual work you are dreading is done. So these are my six Excel must know shortcuts that will save you time and impress others like your boss. So be sure to save this video for easy reference. I hope these were helpful and I will do more of these videos in the future. So be sure to subscribe, not only for Excel tips and tricks, but this is also a financial channel where we cover a lot of investing topics. So another benefit to subscribing to my channel is that I share my portfolio performance with every single video, regardless of the topic. So here it is, my portfolio, its performance, and all my holdings. I'm not gonna do a deep dive today because this is just a quick uh, snapshot of my portfolio. This is the transparency and honesty I promise to deliver on this channel. Take a look at my portfolio, and if you have any questions, simply let me know, but we will be talking about this more in future videos. So if you plan on competing in the annual Microsoft Excel World Championship, let me know, and I will definitely let you know if I ever try out, and instead of Andrew the Annihilator, it might just be Mark the Mega Data Machine that wins. So thank you guys so much for joining me today, and see you soon on Mark Arnold's Finance.